Raiden joins Napoli in race for Udinese's Serbian star Lazar Samardzic. This move signifies a significant step by Brighton in strengthening their squad, with De Zerbi eyeing the talented Serbian to bolster their midfield options. This news, reported by Florian Plittenberg of Sky Sports, adds a new dimension to the ongoing transfer saga involving the 22-year-old Serbian international. Initially, it seemed that Napoli, the reigning champions of Italy, were in pole position to secure Samardzic's services. A tentative agreement was reportedly in place between Napoli and Udinese, which would see the latter earn 20 million euros, plus an additional 5 million euros in bonuses. However, the deal has not yet been finalized, leaving room for Brighton to make their move. Roberto De Zerbi's familiarity with Serie A, having managed Sassuolo and Shakhtar Donetsk, is a significant factor in Brighton's interest. His understanding of Samardzic's capabilities and potential fit in the Premier League could be pivotal in Brighton's pursuit. Lazar Samardzic has emerged as one of the most promising talents in Serie A. His performances for Udinese have not only attracted attention from top Italian clubs but have now also piqued the interest of Premier League teams. His potential move could be one of the highlights of the January transfer window. Subscribe to our channel for more news. Former assistant manager at Atletico Madrid Mano Burgos has criticized Los Rojiblancos for their attitude during the Spanish Super Cup. Atletico were beaten 5-3 after extra time on Wednesday night in Riyadh, having taken the lead three times, but could not hang on with just 12 minutes to go after going 3-2 up. Burgos was present during Atletico's greatest era, when Los Colchoneros won the 2014 La Liga title and reached the 2014 and 2016 Champions League finals. A close ally of Cholo Simeone, he could not resist expressing his frustration during his post-match analysis for Movie Star Plus. Yes, I'm very fired up, it's a team, the game beyond tactics and strategy, a team is looking two steps forward and a team that looks two and three steps back. This is the difference that takes Real Madrid to the win. As per Marca, it is the first time ever that Diego Simeone's side have conceded five goals in one match, 12 years into the role. Only taking into account the 90 minutes, Atletico have conceded at least three goals in three of their last four matches. What I think is that they are conceding a lot of goals playing with five at the back. Both in 5-3-2 and 5-4-1, which ends and they also score another goal. That's a lot of goals to have five defenders. That's what's happening. There are five defenders for three players that Madrid went forward with. Madrid had few people inside the area, they were next to them. Certainly it looked towards the end of last season, and at the start of this one, as if Simeone had found the perfect balance with Antoine Griezmann and Alvaro Morata leading the line and three central defenders. Yet the defensive errors are taking their toll, and Atletico now find themselves on streak of five losses in their last six away from the Metropolitano, their only victory coming against Segunda side Lugo. Subscribe to our channel for more news.